Clayton Charles with Pioneer Land Clearing, and I just wanted to get y'all out here today to look at what we do. We got a lot of palmetto, uh, myrtle, obviously a lot of vines, pepper trees, and it's just really the land is doing us no good right here because we can't graze it. But now once we get through here with the chopping of it and the aerating, you can see what it does and we'll come back and let it lay for about a year, hit it again, and pretty much clean it up. Then we can get in there and graze it and run our cattle or actually just see them. Well, what I've seen in Oklahoma, Texas, I ain't seen nothing these wouldn't destroy in that area uh, because our stuff here is probably a harder material to run over and chop up and cut because of the, the fiber and the palmetto and uh, the springiness and the soft wood of the Brazilian pepper. Uh, like I say, the harder, the better. Uh, the mesquite is a harder wood if I'm not mistaken, than our Brazilian pepper. Our Brazilian pepper is a little springy, but I would think with the harder the wood, the better they're gonna work. We have actually got some uh, fruit trees that we've chopped in the past, and it just really broke them up better. With the uh, pepper trees, you'll see us with some of them here, we knock them down, lay them down, chop them up, but they're still kind of springy. I would think with the mesquite, would be a lot better. The machine would e even work better than it does here. The palmetto is very uh, fibrous material um, and it's kind of springy. If it's harder wood, it breaks it, cuts it, and you know dissipates it a lot better than uh, the myrtle, the holly pepper, or the palmetto. Palmetto, uh, myrtle, but you can see it's probably 12 foot tall, 10 foot tall. And this is really small stuff right here for us to be running over. When you're working about 40 to 50 acres a day, roughly? We can get 50, crush. yeah. We can get 50 like this right here. We can get 50 in 10 hours. So this is where we were a few minutes ago when he came through here. It looks a bit different now. A little bit lower, don't it? Yeah. It uh, cuts it down pretty good. Now he'll make another pass. He'll go turn around and make another pass through there and uh, take a little more of that out. And you'll see some palm trees and, and uh, stuff just disappear. And one cut, that's 90% that's of that's dead right now. Sure. If it was a drier, harder material, it would do a lot better. Yeah. This is very, springy, mm -hmm. soft, uh, but it does do a great job on what it is. With this stuff here we chopped yesterday, and you can see the difference in the height of it. And we, this over here was yesterday that we chopped. We probably chopped 45, 50 acres yesterday. And this is what we're gonna start into this morning, this other stuff over here. This is average, uh, some of them's taller, uh, but this is just kind of average. And we're standing up on a bed of stuff here. Uh, you did over just, beyond the silver. Done just over here on the other side of the truck. And uh, you can see the, the truck and through there, but I mean, it was, you couldn't ride your horse through there. You couldn't get through there. Uh, you couldn't do nothing. Now, yeah, we can go right on through there now. <laughs> 